Pandemic Ponderings, number 73, 20th of September, 2020. Not sure if I'll be posting this, but let's see how we go. Firstly, let me thank from the bottom of my heart all the messages of love and support I have received over the past couple of days. I treasure each and every one of them. This visit by the Black Dog has been unlike any previous visits. One could almost say a completely different breed of dog. A not very pleasant breed. In visits past, I've focused inwardly on my self-worth and not liked what I've seen, self-criticism being the active ingredient. Not so this time. The dog brings guilt and hate. Everybody's been negatively affected by this dreadful year in many different ways. Isolation, loss of jobs and income, loss of homes and possessions in bushfires and the lack of freedom to do just what we like from day to day. Therein lies one of my problems. I really haven't been badly affected. Sure, I can't visit half my family and, and hug them and that saddens me. But we have no debts. We're not rolling in money, but we get by quite comfortably. But I have no fear of losing my job or the roof over my head. And I'm not lonely. But an awful lot of people are. And being the type of person I am, I, I tend to feel the general pain. A kind of residual guilt, if you will. Very similar to a bushfire crisis where everybody around you loses their house, but by a twist of fate, yours is saved and guilt results. In the past, I've gained comfort from meditation, a clearing of the mind. I was involved with a, a Buddhist group for a few years, mixing with wonderful people, selfless people. And one of their teachings was to eliminate the word hate from our vocabulary. The group moved to the city and I wasn't able to keep up a connection, but their practices have stayed with me. I've always cared for those around me and my years spent with this group reinforced my love for society, trying wherever possible to keep hate at bay. But lately I've developed an inner hatred of everything that is ethically wrong around me. My curmudgeon pieces that I write have drifted from being satirical to outpourings of hate. Not always delivered outwardly, but certainly inwardly, and it's taken its toll. Strangely enough, the only attack on my self-worth this time is the, the hate I feel to sections of society. I curse at the news. I, I curse at greed. I, I curse at self-righteousness. I, I curse. I, I curse. I curse. But not always verbally, but definitely inwardly. And I hate myself for it. One of the Buddhist meditation practices is to focus one's mind on the mantra, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be free of suffering. And then one focuses on the people you're in conflict with. May they be well, may they be happy, may they be free of suffering. I get to that part and a whole array of arseholes like Bolt, Jones, Murdoch, O'Brien come to mind it, and I find myself with the mantra, may they get stuffed, may they get knotted, may they go to buggery. I've got a long way to go. 
I just want the fighting of the naysayers to stop. I want all blame to be washed away. I want a healing process to take some traction. I feel as though I'm walking through a sea of treacle with a weight on my shoulders and and getting through the day is an effort. And when you manage to step out of the treacle, it's a bugger to get it all off. It's it's sticky and it it sticks to you. At the moment, I am out of the mire and cleaning myself up. Still, no jokes. Just the hope that you all remain free of treacle. There is light at the end of the tunnel.